Hello again and welcome back to lab. As you can see, I have finished reverse engineering my Game King here. And now I got it running on the PVM CRT and I've got it hooked up to a Super Nintendo controller. It's running on my dev board like usual. It's running very slightly slow though because my um, SD RAM can't really keep up. So it's running about 10% eh, slow. So. I just love that Castlevania, st that Castlevania style music. The loop's kind of short, of course. So this is so much easier to play versus that little tiny crappy LCD. So anyway, I will reset it again here and cut that part out. So like 2003, which is a 1942 ripoff. It's actually kind of fun, but it's sort of easy. Maybe it gets harder later on. But on that little LCD, this was just so hard to play. So that's the built-in games. That's all well and good. What if I want to play, say, Duckman? All I have to do to play Duckman, I just have to load it and then run it. It's loaded, now it's running. This little line of crap down here is actually the top of the stack, and I will go through here in the Verilog code and show that and show how I get rid of that. But I just left it there because it's pretty cool because it shows the CPU is actually running, and I can tell when it crashes from that. So I just thought it was an interesting bug that I left in during development. So this game works fine too. So everything seems to be working. I can try a multi-cart too and see if that works. Yes, that's the thing that Ashens really hates and I tend to agree after watching it very for so many times. Pocket Tank, Dracula Zone, Zon, Hero and Star Gazzy. Let's try the Dracula Zon. That was weird. Oh, I see. That's like your like power item. Okay. What oh, this game's a rip off of? Okay, enough of that. Let's try that other multi cart that has a Super Mario rip off. Yeah, this dragon game is a rip off of Super Mario Brothers. So I think that's pretty hilarious, actually. <laughs> Those look like Goombas, but they're upside down, so my friend said, and I tend to agree. Oh, that was a coin. And that's the mushroom. So I got one pixel taller. Yeah, that music's hilarious. Pipe can't go down it. And they just disappear when you hit them from the bottom. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Hey, jump so freaking high. That music is just hilarious. Yeah, sure there's a lot of churches in this level. Or those telephone poles. And of 
course, they put a guy right there, right where you land. Well, that looks vaguely familiar. Too bad your shots don't bounce like in Super Mario. Yeah, they put that guy right there. so they kind of want to make up for the... Man, that's hard. Oh, well, you get the idea. So anyway, now I'm going to show how I'm going to get rid of this line right here. So I will turn that audio down and pan over to the computer where I've got Quartus 2 open. That might be kind of hard to see, but it's taking up 26% of my chip right about now. But a lot of that is signal tap here. I was watching the... CPU here and actually I can actually watch it in executing its instructions. That's the CPU pulses, read pulses, address bus, data bus, all that fun stuff. Some interrupt things. That's an interrupt problem so I fixed those. So that's taking up quite a bit of the space. But the thing I want is in this GK video. So in here I'm rendering 32 scan lines, but um, it's actually rendering 33, and that would be in this Y counter here. So that's the X timing. Uh, here's the Y timing. Let's see. So I change this 32 to a 31, and then recompile it. And that takes what a minute or two minutes to recompile. So after a short break, <laughs> all right, compile finished after a minute and 55 seconds. So then I hit this and program the chip. All right, and it's programmed. So let's see if it worked. Set the video mode and run the game. And there, that thing is cut off the bottom. Turn that nice, horrible sound up. So let's play Street Hero. <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> That's Double Dragon Clone. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's a little more difficult than Double Dragon. <laughs> okay, enough of that one. Let's see. Yeah, it looks nicer without that quote unquote debug line in there. So here's my question. Why is this game on the multi cart when it's built into the system and non removable? Oh, the intro's a little different. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was 2003 that was built in, I think. So this is like their 
next version, which looks suspiciously similar. Different music and slightly different graphics. But, well, oh, that's funny. Oh, it is a little different, I guess, but... You'd be forgiven if you assumed it was the same game. I think that number in the corner is like your fuel, because when I got hit, it went down quite a bit. Yeah, like that. Eh, plays pretty good. That's what happens when that timer runs out. Oh! Figures. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that sounds familiar. So that's a look at the Game King on my FPGA board right here. And yes, it really is running on there. I'm using this Super Nintendo controller to play. It's a very weird Capcom Super Nintendo controller. And I don't have to rely on the stupid little LCD on the Game King anymore. And I can actually hear the audio through the speaker and it sounds good. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And please rate, subscribe, and comment. It really helps. Oh yeah, I posted in the comments a link to my text file that describes all the Game King hardware. So theoretically, anybody could write an emulator now to run these games. Thanks for watching.